what is going on guys welcome to today's video so hopefully the lighting's good i uh really don't know how this whole setup's gonna work because i've never done a video in my room but the reason why i want to do a video is because i want to kind of go over with you guys my honest opinion and kind of a review of boss coffee so we have the flash black we also have the owl latte and then finally my personal favorite and i'll get more into why uh later on in this video but we also have the all famous small can rainbow blend so without further ado let's uh get right into this video and start the intro and uh we'll talk about everything that is boss coffee all right let's get it So like any video that I make, uh, I always want to give an explanation of why uh, I do certain things or why I like certain things just so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So with that being said, um, I actually cannot drink energy drinks, unfortunately. Energy drinks will just make me jittery and they don't really, like they'll give me energetic, don't get me wrong, but it's not a healthy energy that I want to feel. So instead i turned to coffee and iced coffee is will forever be my favorite and so liking jdm things obviously i just found a familiar liking to boss coffee but i couldn't find it anywhere at all uh so i went on amazon and i ordered some i didn't try every single one of them i only tried the rainbow blend because i knew that it was a sure shot that i would like it a lot so that's what i went with since moving to reno there are asian markets up here which are amazing every single thing from my childhood since i grew up in southeast asia in singapore to be exact um everything that they sell there is basically from that uh region of where i grew up so with that being all being said um i am going to open up each one of these cans and i'm going to start with the black i'll go to all latte and then finally i'll go to the rainbow blend and i'll uh, kind of give you guys my honest opinion honest review and you know kind of go from there uh in hopes that sometime someday soon boss coffee will see this video and appreciate you know me talking about it going over the product and hopefully they become a partner on this channel so without further ado let's get into the flash black coffee all right so oh oh yeah okay right off the bat it is not my favorite for a reason so Ooh, it's very sour, extremely sour. It's basically just like drinking black coffee. That's all it is, is just black coffee. And black coffee is not the worst thing in the world for me. I don't prefer it, but I usually drink the black one uh, with sugar and milk. I will heat up the milk in the microwave, and then after that, I'll put sugar in the milk, stir it around, and then I'll finally put the black um, flash brew coffee into it. So. Not my favorite right off the bat, but um, if I didn't have any other option other than the Flash Black Boss Coffee, I would still go with this because, you know, coffee is coffee, so at least you get caffeinated. It's not my first choice. I'm not very a big fan of black coffee at all, and this is just straight, like, if you were to um, make coffee and not have anything in it besides just coffee this would be it so if you guys are liking if you guys like black coffee and the thing about this is that it has kind of a watered down taste at first and then the coffee taste hits you which is really strong which is really a nice flavor it just is very bitter and it's just a straight black coffee i don't really know how else to describe it but um the cool thing is though is that with this there's a lot of different things you can do with it like you can like you can put sugar cream you can put any creamer you want like french vanilla and it is 
a very, very good coffee uh, to start with, if that makes sense. Like if you wanted to be creative with your coffee, you can definitely use the black coffee because it's a base that you can mix other things with. So if you do like getting creative with your coffee, this would probably be the one for you. But if you just like straight black coffee, this would be the one to get. So we're going to go to the next one because I don't want to drink any more of that without having either cream or sugar or any elks in it. So again, the black boss coffee is, is definitely my least favorite on the, uh, on the board of the three of them. So uh, that's kind of why I wanted to get it out of the way first and uh, kind of give you guys that, well, a review on uh, the black coffee. It's not my favorite. I would not pick it first, but if you were to mix things again with it, then it'd be the right way to go. So now we're gonna go to the Owl Latte. Again, I have no idea how to do this without like, oh, there we go. I forgot to shake it. So with these, um, with Owl Latte and with the Rainbow Blend, you have to shake it. Shaking it is vital because if you don't shake it, then um, all the cream stays on the bottom. So let me shake this real quick. There we go, that's better. Mm. Okay, Owl Latte. It is, or I'm sorry, Cafe Owl Light. Owl Light? I'm probably butchering that, but it's, um, I call it Owl Latte because that's kind of what it is, just a latte. This one has to be my second favorite. Um, it's very creamy and especially cold, it is so delicious, it's so good. Basically think about you putting like condensed milk, like really, really good condensed milk into your flash black coffee. With this one, you are literally just getting uh, milk in it and it's very sweet. It's a very sweet coffee and I like that a lot. Sweet coffees are the one for me. And the thing I like about this too is it's in a bigger can compared to the Rainbow Blend. So you do get more coffee than you would in the rainbow blend and it packs the same amount of caffeine which i think is awesome but um this is probably one of my favorites and it's just it's just like a creamy experience that has milk and like if you if you're in a rush and you just need to pick up a coffee and don't want to be disappointed this is the one to get it's definitely my second favorite it would be my first if the rainbow blend didn't exist because i can pick it up i will not be disappointed in the taste and as soon as you pop that can and take a sip it, it just takes you back to if, if you've ever been to japan it just takes you back to going to the family mart and getting one of these and you know going along with your day but this is the best way to uh boost your day in a way so um let's take another sip Oh man, it just, it's so nice and sweet, light, creamy, all the good things that you're looking for in a coffee. So again, the Owl Latte or Owl Light, Light, uh, Owl Light, I hope I'm saying that right, but that one's definitely my second favorite, but let us go to my number one. Oof, there we go. So fun fact about the Rainbow Blood is that it's is a, a flash brew that has the same amount of caffeine in half the size which is really really cool and the cool thing about these is that this one has milk and sugar i think the difference between the rainbow blend and the Owl latte is that the latte only has milk in it it doesn't have any sugar which i guess the cool thing is right is that the way boss makes their boss coffee lineup uh, is they do the black coffee, which has nothing in it, obviously, and then they do the Owl Latte, which is literally the black coffee mixed with cream. And then finally, they have the Rainbow Blend, which is the basically the Owl Latte, but with sugar. So they add cream as well as sugar from the black coffee to this Rainbow Blend, which I absolutely love. Like, this is my favorite. If, like, there was any coffee that i would grab without thinking about it and knowing that my day was going to be an amazing day a busy day with where i just needed to go 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 and need the caffeine and energy for it this would be 
the number one coffee I'd pick up, definitely. So it does say Boss Coffee Rainbow Mountain Blend is our famous blend in Japan, crafted primarily uh, with Guatemalan Rainbow Mountain beans to create a uniquely balanced coffee. So I believe if I'm not mistaken, all of these are Guatemalan coffee beans, which is awesome because the Arabica beans that uh, coffee usually use, um, they just give a different taste than Guatemalan beans. So these beans are very smooth. They're very nice. They're very powerful. They have a very potent taste. I mean, I've been drinking coffee for, shoot, more than 10 years now. I feel like I've sided with these Boss Coffees just because of obviously the taste, the energy they give you, not having a crash afterwards, which is extremely important to me. If I had a crash afterwards, like you do with energy drinks, I'm sorry, but that is a no-go for me. So uh, let's take a taste of this real quick and uh, stop talking story. Mm. Oh my God, yeah, guys. This one right here, you driving in your S chassis or your X chassis, your Chaser, your Supra, your Soar, Sylvia, RX-7, whatever dream car you have, you have this in the uh, Japanese car holder or cup holder that you have attached to your vents. This is the, uh, this is, this is the way to go. Let me take one more sip. Mm. So right off the bat, you get a lot more sugar than you do cream. It's not as powerful as the al latte. It's definitely more sugary, which I prefer sugar over cream because especially if you are sensitive to uh, milk or, or lactose, this will settle in your stomach a lot easier than the al latte will because al latte is strictly all cream, nothing but cream. At least this is cream and sugar, so you do get a little bit of a kick of a sweetness instead of just a creamy, buttery, smooth taste, which is what the Owl Latte has. Um, but this has to be my favorite flavor from Boss Coffee because, I mean, shoot, look at it, guys. The size difference. It's about probably 75% smaller than the other two can tall cans, and the fact that you get as much energy from those, or from this one, as those is mind-blowing plus i mean you can i've drank this in five seconds and the thing is that i love is that it doesn't rush to you like the caffeine doesn't rush to you like an energy drink it comes on very slowly like and i absolutely love this rainbow blend it's just everything everything you'd want in a coffee and more um being in such a small package you could literally put this in your pocket um I believe these cans in comparison are like uh, Red Bull cans. And then this can right here would be kind of like your average Coke or Pepsi can, but obviously a lot thinner, which is nice. And also guys, I don't think I even talked to you guys about this, but these are double walled cans. So Boss Coffee is very particular about their double walled cans because they want to keep the freshness in and they want to make sure when the drink is cold that even the if the outside surface gets hot they want to make sure the beverage stays cold because these are not really that good hot you can drink them i have drank them before hot not the best i wouldn't recommend the experience but that's why they have double walled and you can even hear it you can hear how thick that wall is because i mean i don't have anything to compare it to as far as an, a regular can unfortunately but it's just it's a very very it's a very very stout like nice tick and that just means that the can is double walled and they do that for a very very good reason so oh my god that's uh i could drink that all day i'm very blessed to have uh, all three flavors at my local Asian store, um, but you can't get them on Amazon. And what I'll do is that uh, down below, I will leave a link on all three of the uh, flavors so that you guys can go ahead and order if you guys want to. Sometimes it's harder to get them than other times. And not gonna lie, getting a 12 pack of them is not the cheapest, but definitely worth it. And I could tell you that 100% without any, uh, any regret. Um, and this is also not a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by Boss. I'd love to be, but I just, I love Boss Coffee and I love this product. And for me, doing videos on YouTube mean whatever I love, whatever I use every single day as far as products go or as far as beverages, 
especially when it comes to ca caffeine and energy. Like if I don't have that during the day, I, I can't 100% get through my day. I would say that uh, if you are looking for a coffee to kind of dive into and, and be your main coffee, your go-to, so to speak, uh, I would definitely try Boss Coffee out and see how you like it. Uh, again, out of the three, so my first would be the Rainbow Blend, and then second would be the Al Latte, third would be the Flash Brew, and uh, it's for a good reason, obviously. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys have any questions on Boss Coffee or any questions on coffee in general, definitely leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of which uh, flavors is your favorite and why uh, because everyone has a different preference obviously and wow I'm getting hit with all the caffeine now. Oh, I'm getting really really hyped uh, It's a great thing though. I uh, you you won't see me not smiling with uh with with coffee in me That's for sure. So if you guys haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button and join the Family join the channel join the Ohana. I mostly post car content and rebuilding cars and doing the JDM lifestyle experience. But I thought today would be a really, really cool day to sit down since I have all three flavors and kind of give you guys a review on each flavor and what I think about it. Because obviously, you know, it's one of those things where you don't really know what you're gonna get into until you do it. And especially with Boss Coffee, you won't be disappointed at all by starting to drink Boss Coffee because the energy is very natural and also they're very good flavors, all of them, even the Flash Black uh, Brew that I cannot stand, but I will drink anyways. So with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. And always remember, never forget, always stay positive and stay true to who you are. Talk to you guys. I'm going to have this while you guys are out of here. Peace. Search